The lovely lady at the dock was just talking too much. And they were like flying right by my head, it was crazy. We are just about to head up through the Malibu Rapids. Last week on Waldy Sailing, we set off from the calm anchorage of Smuggler Cove and took a quick trip up the Malaspina Strait to a little community called Pender Harbor. We set the hook in Wellborn Cove and spent a sunny weekend exploring the community. And for the first time ever, Lyndon was able to get all the parts he needed from the local marine store to get our outboard back up and running. Well, we're heading off now to first get fuel and then start going up the, I think it's called the Agam, Egg, Agamun, Agamunnan, Egg, Agamunnan channel. Anyways, something like that. Uh, we're starting to go to head up to Princess Louisa. Um, this part of the trip, it is quite, um, it, we really get into making sure we have to time our currents right and our passes. Um, there is rapids and just strong currents, so we have to make sure we're we're doing that right. So hopefully today I've gone through everything, so we should be going with the tide up to our next anchorage. Um, so it should be a great day. And the, the weather is changing a bit, so maybe we'll get some wind, but I have my doubts. So yeah, we should. Have a great day. Hey! Good job on uh, timing those currents. So we filled up a fuel at John Henry's Marine and Resort. Because of the way our trip is going, we're going from an inlet out into a strait and then into another inlet. I had timed it so we would leave with the current and then as we go out we had hit slack and then the current would change and then we would ride the current up the next inlet. I had done it properly and everything but the lovely lady at the dock was just talking too much and put us behind schedule so then when we were leaving the inlet we were fighting the current but it wasn't too bad. But now we're rolling with the current and we're going to Dark Cove tonight. Dun, dun, dun. So we just dropped the anchor in Dark Cove. Yeah, you can fully hear it. Unless it's just like piling up on itself. Anyway, it's an extremely steep like beach. We are so close to the beach here, but we're still at um, like bearing down on the anchor. We're still in like 17 feet of water at the lowest, but we dropped it in like 75. We're the only boat in here, so I think we're gonna be the only ones heading up Princess Louisa Inlet tomorrow. So anyways, we're here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm pretty sure we're gonna try resetting the anchor because we don't feel very confident in it. <laughs> Do you feel confident in it? I mean, it was definitely in the ground. I don't know. I feel like in this situation, you are just supposed to let out more chain or more 
Yeah, well, change. We just run right up onto the beach then. No, I know. I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Anyway. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how nice. You can hear a waterfall over there. There's a little house right there. There is a ton of fish. Oh yeah, you can totally see them. <gasps> What's inside? That was so weird because you can see all their eyes. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing. Did you think it was ground? Yeah, I did. Look there on the other side. It's crazy how you can... This is so weird. Um, I want something to come up in between them now and like... I should go for the GoPro on a your apparatus. The ultimate selfie stick. They're way over there now though. Did you hear its uh, wings? Who's behind you? Yeah, maybe just wait. Oh my goodness, it was right by my head. No. They were right outside the window. I know, they're still here. Oh my goodness. That was the craziest thing. Oh, there's a bear! Wait! This is crazy. First the fish, hummingbirds, and they were like flying right by my head. It was crazy. And now a bear. Look at him strutting his stuff. Those are weird looking birds. birds. Well, it's early morning and uh, we're off. It's just difficult today because we have quite a, a long motor up this channel and at the very end uh, there's the rapids which we have to hit at Slack. Um, so it's just uh, a trickier one because the whole trip has to go right for us to make the rapids on time where when we're coming back we hit the rapids early and then we're kind of good to just motor so hopefully all goes well and uh, we have a beautiful day it was supposed to be sunny today hopefully the clouds will clear but uh, it still is beautiful Sort of 
the boat jerked. So I came up here and Lyndon said it feels like something's on the prop or I don't know. We had been motoring along when all of a sudden the boat started vibrating and the RPMs dropped. I immediately brought the engine to an idle and took it out of gear. Our stress went through the roof. There was no one else around and we hadn't seen anyone in a day. And now the current was pushing us along, we were close to shore, and with the water being as deep as a thousand feet, we couldn't anchor to take a moment to figure out what was going on. Yeah, something's stuck on it. I guess I'll have to try to go in the water. Okay. So something's definitely wrapped around the prop that we could see in the Go from the GoPro footage. So Lyndon's going in the water. You're I'm, so brave. I'm not gonna go in it yet. Gonna go in the dinghy first. Oh. Oh. I'll probably need you to come in. Okay. After seeing there was some debris in the prop, I was able to get it out with the boat hook. Everything seemed to be working well after that, but we did spend the next four showers just waiting for the engine RPMs to drop again. So everything looks okay? Yeah. Did, it, did you ever end up getting anything off of the prop? Well, there definitely was like a chunk of wood or something on it. Seems to be off now. That was not fun. Continuing on, we're both extremely paranoid that there's something wrong, but I don't know if it's unnecessary. Everything seems to be running fine and looks fine. Another sailboat behind us. Something goes wrong. There's someone else here. Good call. Yeah. I think that's a. That's a big part of it is that we're going up to just such a remote place that it's extra nerve wracking and we know we really need our engine obviously to get up to the rapids so yeah. see. I think we'll be okay. I hope we'll be okay. this close to shore and we're still in over 650 feet of water right here. Those mountains just go like straight down. It's crazy. We are just about to head up through the Malibu Rapids. We're just waiting for slack tide, which is supposed to be in 20 minutes. The nerves are high. <laughs> There's two? Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. Okay. <laughs> Everybody else is going through. A sailboat's already gone through, so. True. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. 
Come back next Wednesday when we visit one of the most beautiful places on Earth. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and if you're feeling extra kind, feel free to share this video on your Facebook page to help our channel grow. As always, thank you to our patrons for your support. You guys are the ones that make this adventure possible. Have a great week, everyone.